Next runners are coming in. So please, everyone in chat who isn't already, which is pretty much everyone who already is, welcome Pronto and Jangle Storm. All right, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Pronto, and I'm here with uh, Jangle Storm to show you a lovely, lovely gem from the NES library called The Last Ninja. <laughs> if you have not seen this game before, it is absolutely something. It is a treat, and you know, I just hope that me and Jangle Storm could put on a fun race for y'all, and hope you'll uh, enjoy the kind of uh, lunacy that this game <laughs> is. Um, we'll do it all, by yeah. the way. Yeah, this this game was uh, according to the box art was uh, game of the year. I don't know who determined that or who judged that, but it's the game of the year. So <laughs> don't take our word for it. But uh, let me uh, pass the mic over to Janglestorm, who could uh, talk a little bit about the game before we start. Yeah, uh, hi everybody. Uh, my name is Janglestorm. Also a huge fan of uh, some uh, Deadbot Ninja action, uh, as you will see here in the next uh, like roughly ten minutes. Um, so yeah, this is um, funnily enough. So this is called the Last Ninja, but technically it's the second game of the series uh, because it was a trilogy originally on the Commodore 64, and the second game got ported over to the NES and got retitled The Last Ninja with some new music and everything. And it's going to be quite an experience, as uh, Pronto uh, put it. So, um, yeah, I guess um, it, we can get started, uh, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much, uh, I guess, whenever uh, the timers are ready. Get going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, timers should be ready now, so whenever you uh, want to count it down. All right. All right. Uh, ready? Three, yes. two, one, go. All right. Good luck. Good luck. And so um, I guess one of the things we definitely want to talk about with this game is, like I said, it's kind of absurd as it is at times. Uh, the music is absolutely fantastic in this game, but I think most people yeah, agree with that. Really good. It's really good. Um, so again, the basic kind of premise of this story is we are a ninja that is time traveled. Yes. Present day New York to uh, fight, I guess, an evil, his evil, not twin, but just a ghost ninja, basically. <laughs> so. Yeah, this it's, a, it's a shogun, I believe. Yeah, and it's shogun just called Kunitoki. It's just a, like I said, a ridiculous premise where you know we're basically navigating our way through New York, you know, and they very typically have uh, clowns juggling bowling pins trying to kill you in the park. So yeah. very normal stuff. It's just another day in New York. So <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. Yeah. yeah. Also, uh, we picked up uh, the shuriken. It's basically a safety for uh, the final boss fight um, because mm -hmm. there's no guarantee that we will be able to finish it otherwise. So it's purely uh, for marathon reasons, really. But you'll see that soon enough. Mm -hmm. And some of the basic mechanics of this game, one of the biggest things that you'll see us doing is um, you'll see us kind of like kicking or like parrying anytime an enemy comes near us. And one of the biggest time saves in the speed run is just avoiding encounters at, at if at all possible. But then otherwise, you just have to kind of parry them just so you uh, don't yeah. take damage. So how many enemies are you going to uh, beat in this speed run? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, just well, one basically at the end, but <laughs> yeah, at least at least the one. But otherwise, we try to avoid as many encounters as possible. Uh, like if you want to go for something resembling world record, you might want to skip as many as you can, basically. Yeah. And this also ninja, bees. yeah, bees. I was gonna say that too. <laughs> uh, this ninja, unfortunately, is not the sturdiest nor the stealthiest. So anything and everything can basically kill him in this game. So. <laughs> it might look a little odd, the paths and things that we're trying to avoid, but literally everything will kill him in this game, so, including the water. Yeah, and also these boat jumps. Uh, for those who have seen the AVGN episode recently, know that uh, these boat jumps are seemingly impossible. Um, if you learn the speed run of this, you learn a bit of how to uh, jump on them uh, as you should, of course, apparently. But uh, yeah, it remains a bit of a jank uh, experience for sure. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I'm currently in the uh, streets of New York now, which, um, again, just kind of alluding to the uh, janky charm of this game, uh, the map makes absolutely no sense. Um, a lot of things are not connected. Um, so you just got to have to memorize the route and just go with it. And I'm picking up a bottle that's going to be very important in a little bit, but um, the main kind of, I guess, goal of this game, you're kind of picking up items that are, will help you with your progression with uh, each kind of obstacle or challenge that comes up. <laughs> Yeah, we're just on the streets, uh, you know, there's uh, apparently uh, you can get food for like 75 cents. There's actually this uh, food item that you can grab in case you need to refill your health. Um, we're not going to do that. We don't need to. Uh, usually health gets refilled um, after you uh, finish a stage, so that's pretty convenient. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, we're slowly making our way to the sewers, uh, picking up uh, the ski also. 
Yeah, so also, also hamburgers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Also, uh, yeah, the, so this flower pot here. Um, so on the way back, you actually have to take a brief sidestep there because um, on the way uh, towards the bottle, <laughs> you can just avoid that. But otherwise, um, you'll get hit by it and you'll insta die. So you have to uh, watch out for that. It wouldn't be an NES game without a sewer level. Exactly. Of course. Yeah. And speaking of, I just entered the sewers right now. Um, again, interesting thing, uh, this game just being very well programmed and designed. Um, if you go, there, there'll be uh, some paths coming up where there's multiple options or multiple doors. And basically, if you take the wrong door, you don't end up at a dead end. You literally just die. So <laughs> you just have to memorize the route and go with it. Otherwise, yeah, yeah. it'll just drop to uh, the ground. It takes a few so. tries, but it, you'll get there. Yeah. But again, this is this is one of those games that um, I get that spider with coming too. By the way, <laughs> if you ask any, uh, this this game is a little bit of a cult classic. Uh, I would say with the, among any speedrunners, if you ask anyone who's kind of learned it, it is absolutely an endearing and charming game and very easy to learn. So if anyone is interested, absolutely, you know, pick it up and you know don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions or <laughs> concerns. Yeah, it's, There's it's, probably a lot of concerns. But. Yeah, it's a very quick learn. Um, a lot of people learn it around the time it was in the big twenty. Um, I learned it around the time it was in the chart 20 from uh, the She Shard Core. Um, this was actually one of the games I featured at some point, and that's when I picked it up. But uh, I basically learned it in an afternoon, so it's a really quick learn, actually. Yeah. So now, remember that bottle I picked up before? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm on fire, and uh, hold on. Th this is fine, don't worry. Yeah, <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. <laughs> Again, this game just makes absolutely no sense. Uh, but that's what makes it charming. Uh, and again, yeah. like, we're still in the sewers, and I'm about to pick up a random uh, drumstick of chicken. Don't ask what we're going to do with it. Add some sp oh, spice or something. Some spices, some secret seasoning. We can't say what they, it is, but... Uh... Again, if you're a big cat fan, you might want to look away for a sec. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, there was a food coma right there. A little, a little food coma. Not, yeah. nothing, nothing wrong there with that panther. It's fine. Everything's yeah. good. Now that we've seen the greatest encounters in the game, do you have a... Is there a little time for donations? Absolutely, please. <laughs> yep, go for it. <laughs> got a few of them here. First, we got $100 from our last runner, Heppenwana. Remember when I said I'd donate $10 for death? I'm sure I said $10. <laughs> Thank you for having me and this great cause. So that was $100. Wow. Uh, I don't quite know what it's for, but I'm willing to bet it might be towards Zelda 2. Uh, we also have an anonymous donation for $100. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations Ooh, nice. on your first marathon run, Pronzo. Oh. <laughs> Please put this donation towards the Zelda 2 bonus game incentive. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> hey, they pay the fine. I'm not paying it. <laughs> and finally, <laughs> finally, there's a I, there's a donation from Firebird Lover. Oh, that's me. <laughs> oh. <Hey. laughs> Thank you. Five dollars per death and a leckhead as promised. Good luck, racers. It actually says that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the donations, everybody. Yeah, I really appreciate it, everyone. Just keep the donations coming. They're going towards a great uh, going towards a great cause. OAR Organization for Autism Research. Um. During the donations, real quick, uh, one thing I want to mention, uh, you might have seen that computer that I kind of uh, encountered for briefly, and I have a, there's a four-digit number at the bottom of my screen now. That's like one of the biggest sources of RNG in this game. It's the password to the final safe that we're going to encounter before the, um, or at the end game, basically. So ideally, you want something that's closer to like zero or nine, because those would be the fastest to input, so... Yeah, my, mine is actually all low numbers, but funnily enough, before I set up, I actually got a code of us consisting of three zeros. <laughs> so nice. I was like, well, I'm never going to get that lucky again, which still goes to show, but yeah. yeah. You two got very similar level... numbers, so RNG is not, uh, is not picking sides here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this level I'm in right now, uh, or actually both of us are in, excuse me, uh, the mansion, it has some great music, so if you have any sort of dance or... Uh, jam emotes, please get them out in chat. <laughs> go get go get this gems out. That's exactly. worth it. Right. So basically make a circle here, all to pick up a key, basically in order to uh, get down to the final stage, really, uh, through this door where we just came from. And so I'm coming up on the final boss. Uh, this room that's coming up right now, it's pitch black, but it's... There is a light switch you could uh, toggle to get it going, but it's easy enough to like make your way through. But uh, otherwise, there's a bunch of spikes that will pretty much kill you instantly. So, 
Just gotta be careful. So I'm coming up on the final boss fight right now, and it's it's something. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a thing. So first Get I gotta ready. open up the safe with the password. Uh, oh, four, three. Uh, and so now time. this is Kunito Kunitoki, the uh, spirit, I guess, ninja. And I have to knock him down inside this. Oh, oh crap. I didn't get the glitch. <laughs> of course I didn't. <laughs> Wait, do you, do you have to use the shurikens? I did, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, there. Oh, well, I, oh, I could uh, knock him down. For, for me, it's uh, almost time, by the way. So get ready and time. Shoot. So the tricky... Oh, I'm about to die. <laughs> the tricky thing about this game <laughs> is... The isometric view is a little <laughs> tricky to get used to, so I had trouble lighting the candles. That was 100%. Actually, I should light one before I start. Why would the uh, run go smoothly, of course, you know? <laughs> well, I mean, just Kunitoki things. Oh my god, I'm gonna die again. <laughs> oh no. You got this. I know, this is so bad. I had I'm, it I'm until, uh, uh, watching in the window and... Oh, oh, oh god. Again, the perspective is just... There we go. Alright, I should be fine. Yeah, this is uh, one of those f seemingly few uh -oh. NES games that actually has an isometric view, uh, which is okay. amongst uh, all the 2D games, uh, there's nothing too common, but... Okay, well, we beat the game in the end, so... <laughs> okay, <laughs> GG, <laughs> GG. <laughs> GG's Jangle Storm. Oh, man. Good game, so, yeah. Jangle Storm. Good game, Pronzo. I'd no. love to tell you what the final time is for Jangle Storm, but the timer didn't stop. I can tell you for Pronzo, it's 9.27. <laughs> Nice. So still with an estimate, I, I would guess Jangle Storm, I think you'd probably like around, just around 9, I would guess. That's what it seemed like. Uh, yeah, I guess it's, well, sub 9, probably? I don't know. Oh, nice. Yeah, I, I got uh, unfortunate, so, uh, you know... Oh, okay. Geez, oh, that, that's, that's really good, actually. That's probably my best uh, marathon time so far. But it's also, if you don't take any deaths, uh, it especially uh, tends to work out pretty well that way. Yeah, so uh, I, like Jangle Storm kind of mentioned it earlier, I actually got unlucky. The glitch didn't work for me. The glitch kill, there's a quick kill that you could just kind of kick the uh, kick Kunitoki and he drops. But I had to switch over to uh, my shurikens as a backup, and that didn't uh, go smoothly. As you saw, yeah, so. how, how big is that uh, chance anyway? It's like a five to ten percent chance or something. Yeah, it's... like I, that's just incredibly unlucky. Um, it's one of those glitches that no one, unfortunately, in the community has ever quite figured out what causes it to break. And I, of course, got unlucky the one time. Yeah. It's usually like five percent of the time. So. Mm, uh, yeah, yeah. That's that's speed running for you folks. <laughs> so it is. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no. Before you two leave us, I got a couple donations and a little bit of news for Pronzo. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh dear. First, we got an not an anonymous donation, which I really feel like this shouldn't be anonymous. I hope that whoever posted posts, you know, says something in chat. An anonymous donation, fifty dollars, says I had a death during my run yesterday, and here's a donation for that. Putting this towards oh. Zelda 2 donation incentive. <laughs> so whatever great runner ran for us yesterday, and then donated anonymously, thank you. Oh, thank you. Uh, also have an anonymous donation for twenty dollars, donating for Zelda 2. Not out of love for the game, but instead for the great palace music. Now I can tell you, I kind of understand that. Uh, that puts us at four hundred and twenty dollars out of twenty five hundred towards the nice. Zelda Two run. Nice. Uh, there's still plenty of time left, but like I said, I'd like to see this happen before uh, the Fantasy Star Two run ends, and that's only got about a little hour and change. Finally, we have a donation from Mr. Macabre for ten dollars. Good luck, Pronzo and Racers. A little bit late, but hey, the thoughts oh, are counts. You. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> if you but do yeah, have that's... any final oh, comments, please go. Uh, Jacob Storm, go ahead first, please, if you'd like. Uh, yeah. Um, well, first of all, uh, thanks, uh, Pronzo, for uh, suggesting uh, making this into a race. It's been an absolute blast, and uh, I, I was looking forward to doing this, and I'm glad it uh, delivered the way it did, uh, for sure. And uh, yeah, uh, be sure to. Uh, Keep donating. Uh, also, yeah, if you want to pick up this run, uh, like Bronson said, be sure to hit any of us up uh, if you'd like. Uh, it's a fun run. Can recommend. And uh, yeah, be, be sure to keep donating for this cause. Um, I, I personally, uh, I don't talk about it very often, but I was actually diagnosed with autism at a very young age. So um, I've got, I've had some experience with, uh, you know, uh, what it, uh, yeah, uh, how that uh, goes, but uh, yeah, uh, or, or does uh, fantastic work, and uh, I'm very glad to uh, support uh, that cause. And uh, yeah, be sure to keep those donations uh, coming. So yeah, that's it for me. Cool, and, so, uh, and go uh, follow Pronto, by the way. Also, <laughs> <laughs> no, go follow Jango Storm. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'll, I'll keep it quick. I uh, just want to give a big shout out to the uh, Fastest First staff and volunteers. You've been doing an amazing job so far. It's been an incredible event. Um, 
And folks, just a reminder, I'll be back later today um, running Zelda 1 uh, to help close out the marathon. And please get your donations in. Uh, we would love to unlock Zelda 2. It's a, a very fun speed run if you haven't seen it. Um, really looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, I just want to give a shout out to uh, everyone who happened to come in and support from the community. So thank you so much.